Welcome to Electron Line. Now when you take a look at this example, you almost can't believe that this might actually be factorable. But let's try it. There's four terms. First, what we should do is see if there's any common factors to make the problem a little bit easier. And notice every term contains an X, every term contains a Y. They don't all can turn an A or a B. So at least we can factor out a single X and a single y. So let's do that to make it a little bit easier. So x times y is a common factor which leaves us with an x squared, the y is gone, a cubed plus x squared b cubed. And here we have a, a minus y squared a cubed and here we have a minus y squared b cubed. All right, that looks a little bit better. Now what we're going to do is we're going to group them in groups of two and see if there's something common here. On the first group of two terms, we notice that x squared is common, so we can factor that out. So we have an x times y, and that gives us a common factor of x squared times a cubed plus b cubed. And here the common factor would be a minus y squared that leaves us with an a cubed plus b cubed. And now things are beginning to look a little bit better because notice these two terms in here each contain an a cubed plus b cubed which can be factored out. So this is equal to x times y and we factor out an a cubed plus b cubed and then here we have remaining an x squared minus a y square. All right, now here we have the difference of squares and here we have the sum of cubes and we know how to factor those. So this becomes equal to x times y and first of all the sum of cubes that would be a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So now we factor out the sum of cubes. And here we have the difference of squares, so this can be factored as x plus y times x minus y. And as you can see, we did it. We actually did factor that monstrosity in the beginning. It is factorable, and it all starts by first removing or factoring out the common factors of each term, and then by grouping two by two, factoring out what's common in each group of two two terms and then you can begin to see the commonality and factor out what's common and what's remaining and that is how it's done.